Hi, welcome to my channel, Takoyaki Tarot. Today is July 25th, 2023. By the way, this is like my second recording of the day because again, my video has been cutting off like crazy and I don't know, I don't, I don't get it. Anyways, so Tuesday, July 25th, 2023. So it's the last Tuesday in July because next Monday um, is going to be the last day in July and then we're already gonna be in August, right? So. Um, before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If they resonate with you, you clarity, great. If it doesn't, then don't force it to be your story, right? So, I'm going to talk about a dream that I had real quick a couple of nights ago, um, and then I'll start pulling cards. Um, so, um, in the dream... I was in a house, right? Um, and there was a, a pair, a, a masculine and a feminine, Carmen, obviously. And, well, obvi it's obvious to me, but not you, right? So, in the dream, um, by the way, message for the collective, you're going to have to use your voice in your dream. Uh, it's going to take practice, but you can do it. You can. You can do it. Um, it's kind of like, you ever have a dream where you're trying to land a hit in your dream, and it's like the hit? Is not hitting right like the hit's not hitting it's not landing right that actually takes practice you're gonna have to practice landing those hits but you're gonna have to use that physical umph in your dreams it's like you can like if you want to change certain things in your dreams you can it's possible it just it's a skill right it's you got to practice it's practice makes perfect right so you can do that it's just you have to practice same as learning how to use your voice in your dream. People say, oh, learn. You know what? It's interesting, too. I want to say this, a side note, before I get into the dream and start pulling cards. Um, people always say, say no in your dreams, right? And you're probably like, well, how do I do that? You got to practice, right? You got to you gotta mean it with conviction. You got to, like, use, con like, I don't know, your inner strength to, like, really say no, to really land that hit. Like, you got to use all your might. And it's going to be, like... It's going to feel like physical work. I kid you not. It's going to feel like physical work, but it's possible, right? So if you are, you know, if your dreams are dreaming, right, and you need to say no, and you need to not eat this, or you need to not do that, you have to practice, and you have to be aware. You have to be cognizant that you are dreaming, and that you can do this, and you can do that, because you can, right? People think that because you're dreaming, you don't have, I don't know, you, you don't have a choice. You can't do this, but you can all right, so learn how to use your voice in your dreams, and you're going to really have to start using your voice in your dreams, but in order to do that, you're going to have to, like, really put in the work, right? It's not like you wake up one day, and you're just talking, 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 like you are, I guess, in the 3D, right? Um, you have to, like, it's like being a baby. You have to put in the work, right? Um, so use your voice in your dreams, and if you don't know how, you have to practice. How do you practice? You just start by trying to talk or by trying to land that hit. And you just keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. Every time you dream, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. And I promise you, there will be a time where you can speak in your dreams or you can land that hit, right? I kid you not, you just have to practice. So anyways, to the dream. Um, in the dream, I was in a house and for some reason there was like a karmic feminine and a karmic masculine in the dream. And they were like in my way, in my dream. <laughs> Um, like the audacity, right? Um, and they were like trying to barricade the door for me to get out. By the way, a house in the dream represents um, like your body. Like the attic would be your mind. The basement would be like inner hidden traumas or turmoils, right? Um, and then like certain rooms would be like certain aspects of yourself. Um, but so uh, they were by the front door and it's like they didn't they weren't trying to like let me leave and I was just like let me out and at first I was very calm about it like let me out right let me out and it's kind of like I don't know what their problem was but it's like they felt like they had some sort of authority over me in my dreams and it's just like and I was getting annoyed and it's funny because if there's like even in real life when I'm annoyed like just leave me alone I, I don't like being annoyed so in the dream, I'm like, all right, you guys, like, you need to let me out, right? You need to let me out, let me out, let me out. And it got to the point where I was just, like, yelling at them, like, let me out. 
Um, and then eventually, I don't know if they got pushed to the side or the, the door opened, but I was outside and it was like nighttime. And I'm like walking down the street and like the karmic feminine from the house, it's like she was, she grabs my arm and I got like annoyed by this. It's like, cause she tried to drag me back into the house. <laughs> and in the dream, I ended up like, her arm broke in the dream, right? But it was so weird because, like, I kind of heard it all. Like, not to be graphic, but, like, you're ever cooking chicken and you have to, like, break the bone, like, you know, for a chicken leg or something like that. It's that, that's, it was so graphic. Like, I heard it all. So, and then after that, I just kind of kept walking. Like, I told you, leave me alone. Like, I told you, let me out, right? You weren't listening. So, anyways, um, moving on. Um, so now, now that we're done with talking about the dream, there's a couple things that I want to mention. So it seems as though, um, not to piggyback, which I love that phrase, piggyback. Um, not to piggyback off of my last video, but it seems as though there is a couple that want to keep you trapped in like your body, right? Um, what I mean by that is like they don't want you to continue your spiritual journey. They don't want you to ascend. They don't want you to become enlightened. They want you to stay stuck to like earthly matters like um, drinking, partying, drugs, alcohol, um, I don't know, partying, the nightlife, um, just things that don't matter. Being stuck on like earthly, physical, um, seeking pleasure kind of things, things like that, right? Instead of focusing on how to heal your mind, your body, your spirit, how to make yourself, you know, if you're being triggered, how to heal from that, right? How to understand what's triggering you, how to localize that, how to understand that, right? How to heal your inner child, things like that, right? It's kind of like they wanted me to be trapped in just my body, focus on my body, and that's it, right? And as I was like outside, right, I'm just like now able to see the bigger picture, not to be so stuck in my body, like anxiety, depression, um, just focus on other things, right? It's like they are trying to pull you back in, like, no, focus on material earthly claim matters. Focus on this. Focus on things like just the physical, right? Don't focus on the spiritual. Focus on the physical. And it's interesting because in the dream, the karmic feminine was trying to drag me back. Like, no, focus on your physical. Focus on things that don't matter. Don't focus on your spiritual. As she was doing that, it's like she got, I don't know, physically punished or something. Or it's like... Because in the dream, her arm broke, right? Because she was grabbing my arm from here. And her arm, in the dream, her arm broke from, like, here to here. That's where her arm broke, right? So it's kind of like this. I, I It's so graphic, sorry. But it's like this kind of, like, got pushed in and cracked. I heard it all. I heard it all. And, like, I could, like, hear I could feel it. And it's like her arm went limp. And I just kept on going on about my merry way because, like, I told you not to bother me, right? So it's kind of like, I don't know, something is going on with this karmic feminine. And it's also interesting because, like, you have the audacity to enter my dreams and try to bother me in my dreams. No. Like, don't get mad at me because you got punished for entering my... Like, that's a problem, too. A bunch of these karmics think that they can just enter your energy and think, la da I'm going to mess with the collective and I'm going to be okay. No. Like, you're not welcome. Like, and then when the collective gets upset, like, oh my God, the collective, the collective. Like, anyways. um, And something about a bonfire. August is coming up. August is like the season or like fall, autumn, is a season for like bonfires and like, you know, s'mores and camping right um something about dancing around a, uh, a bonfire a fire dancing around a fire dancing around a fire um so i'm gonna start pulling cars now i feel like a deal was being made And it's like, if they can't 
physically entice you to do something out here. They can't physically get you to a party. They can't physically get you to drink, to do drugs, to smoke, to whatever. They cannot physically do it. So they're trying to keep you trapped in your dreams by keeping you trapped in your body. So you're not focused on your spiritual journey. If you, okay, so. There's two witches that are dancing around a bonfire. That they're trying to like, they're, first of all, if they're entering your dreams and trying to bother you and trying to touch you in your dreams, they're definitely getting punished because the girl, she grabbed my arm in my dream and like instantly her arm broke, right? Instantly. Like, can you not touch me, right? Is But her arm instantly broke. So the minute that they do things, they, they get punished. Like, I know punished is that, I don't know, some people don't like using the word punished, but that's what it is. Like, they're being punished. Right? Some people prefer using the words consequences, right? And I get that. But in this situation, it's not exactly a consequence. It's a punishment. They're being punished for trying to keep you trapped, right? And it's like, it didn't work, so now they're trying to force it to happen. And that's even like a big no-no. And it's like, the only reason why they're doing this is because, I really don't want to say this, but it's because of Black Phillip. All right, um, there's a movie called Witch, and Black Phillip is the goat that makes the deal with the girl. And he says to her, would thou like to live deliciously? That's Black Phillip, right? And Black Phillip is like the devil. Um, and it's like, there's like two witches there, they think... I don't know what they think they're doing, but they're making deals. And for some reason, it's like they, I'm sorry I lied. I'm sorry I lied. Um, that's the girl. That's the girl. Who has her, who got her arm broken? That's the girl. And I feel like she's only saying she's sorry she lied. So if, this karmic feminine is like, she lied to you or something? All right, let me, let me back up real quick. So it's like, they, they made a deal promising to get you and it's like nothing is working. So now they're trying to force it to happen. That's like, that's where they're messing up for them. Hold on. I just got my drink stolen from me. So, so anyways, um, what was I saying? So yeah, I'm sorry I lied. So you have somebody, it's this feminine, right? Um, so if this is a feminine who you don't talk to anymore. Um, and she wants to come back, which is weird because like she's doing a bunch of things behind the scenes, like doing magic on you, dancing around the fire, blah, 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 blah. And nothing she's doing is working. So she's going to physically try to come rushing towards you like, oh, I'm sorry, I lied. Can we be friends again, right? Um, do what you want to do, but I wouldn't exactly trust it, okay? So just be mindful of that because you got two, two karmic feminines out here. Well, in the dream, it was a karmic feminine and a karmic masculine, right? So you got two people out here that are like really, I don't know, like they're really about like being a dark witch like they're really 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 about being a dark witch like they would do anything but the problem is that they're doing it to the wrong person right they're doing it to the wrong person and it's like every time they try to do some magic they get physically it, it, it's it's manifesting on them physically Broken bonds. Yeah, this is somebody who you don't talk to anymore. All they do is, look, all they do is lie, and I'm sorry I lied. Nurtures to create carbon copies. 
But that's in the middle. Why is that in the middle? I gotta pull something out for that. So we have broken bonds. I'm sorry I lied. All they do is lie. They're even sorry. They're they're lying about being sorry. Like, this could be the reason why you don't talk to them anymore because all they do is lie. They're lying about being sorry. They're not even sorry. Like, you're telling me you're so Like, I know you're lying. The minute you open your mouth, there's nothing but lies. Creates, nurtures to create carbon copies. Why is that here, though? I feel like these, this karmic feminine and this karmic masculine, they're just like, they're copying something. They're copying something, hoping that they'll get like recognition for it. So I mentioned the movie Witch, right? In the movie Witch, um, it's basically about a witch. Right, she makes a deal, and at the end of the movie, they were dancing by, they were all dancing around a bonfire, right? It's kind of like they were being rewarded for making the deal. I mean, this could actually just be like, this reading is so dark. This is a dark reading. Yeah, this is a good, ah, wow. Uh, let me get a couple more cards, wow. We have 12th house, Pisces. Um, 12th house is about spirituality endings. The hidden self, right? Who you truly are that you keep hitting. Your unconscious mind. I mean, there's a bunch here, but I'm just reading what's coming out. Escapism confinement remember in the dream they wanted to keep you uh they wanted to keep me confined in that house they wouldn't let me out it's like they didn't want me to step out of the house like to you know be focused on other things other than my body physical matters right um This reading is really about your spirituality, collective. Oh yeah, let me show you the card. This person could be a Pisces. This Pisces card has been coming out a lot lately. Whoever this person is, or these this karmic feminine, this karmic masculine is, they they're copying something. They're copying something, and the only reason why they're doing it is for some sort of recognition. That's like a side note. That's something separate. That's something that they're doing separate. But for some reason, what they're copying, the reason why it's like, it's like it has. And not, and it's not like it has anything to do with you per se, but it's like they're trying to connect it to you or like make you involved or like trying to put you into it. But it's not working because one, it's you, the collective. And two, this person, these people, you don't even talk to anymore. And you know, like if they were to come talk to you, like everything they say is a lie. They just be lying. I'm sorry I lied. All they do is lie. There's, there's things that are missing. There's things that are missing here. Likes to backstab people. What the heck? This is a really dark reading. So this person could like to... Jesus. This is definitely a dark witch. Or they're both dark witches. This karmic feminine, karmic masculine. There's two dark witches here. All they do is lie. All they do is backstab people. These are people you're not involved with anymore in any kind of shape or form. Whether they were friends, exes, coworkers neighbors whatever there are two people that you don't talk to anymore 
And one of the reasons why is because they like to lie a lot. So you could have realized that they lied and then you decided to like break that bond with them. You, you kind of just like moved on. And now they're trying to make sure that you stay trapped with them or trying to, they're trying to keep you trapped physically so you can't move on without them spiritually. Because that's another thing too. They made a deal and they can't do anything like with that deal. They can't. There's, there's nothing that they can do with the deal that they made. And so now they want to keep you trapped on like physically because you can move spiritually around. You have like free reign to do whatever you want spiritually. They do not. And every time they try to mess with you, try to keep you bound with them, they get punished for it. But I'm trying to figure out nurtures to create carbon copy because who does that belong to? Or what does it belong to? This is somebody, whatever, it's either whatever they made a deal with likes to just make mini versions of them. Like, be evil, right? Go out into the world and be evil. Or this is one of the two that they just like to have mini-me's around them, right? I'll give you love, and in return, you have to be just like me, right? It's like Regina George. She praises her minions, and in return, her minions, like, they do what she says. They wear pink on Wednesdays. You know, she's... If, you know, that one scene where Regina George, she, like, says something ugly about, like, I think her pores being too big. And then another girl says that she doesn't like her thighs. And then another girl says this, right? And then they're all looking at Katie. Like, you need to say something about yourself that you don't like either, right? All right, I'm going to get a couple more and then I'm going to switch. Being spiritually watched. Wow. This is everybody. Everybody's being spiritually watched. So they're trying to watch you spiritually to see what you do, where you go, who you hang out with, who you talk to in your dreams. And as they're trying to spiritually watch you, they are being spiritually watched, which is why they get punished so quick, right? Because in the dream, the girl, I was walking outside. I was like, okay, you need to let me out, right? And I'm like yelling, let me out. And then I got out and I'm outside walking. And the girl is kind of like trying to hold my arm, trying to like hold me back. And like her arm broke in the dream. And it's like, they it's so funny because these two people think that they are slick. But as they are watching you entering your energy, they too are being watched and handled with accordingly. Right? It's like instant. This is happening for everybody. They're being watched while they're watching you. And you're just minding your own business, right? Because in the dream, after I got out, I'm just like walking, trying to just like go somewhere else. I don't think, honestly, I don't think this is a two-faced friend or both of them are two-faced friends who just like to lie. They like to backstab people. These are, these two witches are wicked. This is a very dark reading. Yeah, these are two people you don't talk to anymore. Yep, 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 yep. Um, what was I going to say? <sighs> oh, I forgot. Whatever. Jeez, these people are not good. They backstab people. They're two-faced. They lie. They could have also been gossiping about you, like smiling in your face and then gossiping behind you, behind your back. That's one of the reasons why you kind of like this friendship or this relationship or this partnership, whatever it has to end. It's, it's, no, it's no good. Why would you want to be around these people anyways? Like you're, oh, I was going to say, there is nothing really for you to be worried about right? Even if you see them in your dreams or they try to do something in your dreams, there's nothing to be worried about because like I said, everybody's being spiritually watched, right? And when they do stuff, they get handled with accordingly. So you really don't have to do anything, but I would suggest to start learning how to use your voice because your voice does hold power, right? You can, you can hit back. You can say, no, you can say, leave me alone. You can say, stop that. You can, right? You have powers in your dreams. You may not realize that, but it takes practice, right? So you can do that. You just have to practice. You have to mean it with conviction. You have to really, really, it's intentions, right? It's all about intentions. So you have to do your part in your dreams as well. 
And then and on top of that, the universe, God, will also do their part as well. So it's kind of like everybody has to chip in in a sense, right? So um, one more. Oh, what was that? What was that? Yeah, okay. I'm not touching that. Jesus. All right, we got... Aww. So these three are for the collective. This is this person. This says, I secretly hate you. Yeah. I honestly, I can see why. Like, why would you want to be around this person? And it's so weird because this person, like, I, I they're trying to enter your energy. And you know they don't even like you. They secretly hate you. They like to backstab people. They're two-faced friend. All they do is lie. Like, this is why you decided to not be around them anymore. Why would you want to be around this person? Why would you want to be a around... Why would you want to be friends with people who secretly hate you? It's like they smile in your face, but then like they talk crap behind you, behind your back. It's so weird. Um, your magic can't be copied, LOL. You have a good heart. And then rebirth. You've gone through a rebirth. I think the way it's coming out is they were trying to hold you back from going through a rebirth by keeping you trapped on like earthly matters and keep you focused on like, I don't know, things that don't matter. Money, cars, clothes, drugs, alcohol, partying, the nightlife, the fast life, um, the nine to five, the grind, the hustle, um, friendships, you know. I also feel like they were also trying to keep you bound to relationships that, like, weren't good for you. But it's like the way they were trying to do it is like, well, this friendship is important. It's good to have people around you or at least you have a friend or at least you have people to talk to or at least you're not lonely, right? And... You know, maybe for a while you were just like, yeah, at least I'm not lonely. But now it's like, I'd rather be lonely than have people who maliciously have dark negative intentions around me, right? Towards me at that. So everybody's being spiritually watched. So that's that. Now we can move on. You've gone through a rebirth. You're, you've left the house, right? You're, you, you're on your journey. You can't be held back. They're still trying to hold you back. And now they're facing, you know, physical consequences because they're trying. You know, they could even be like, also, uh, autumn, um, autumn, autumn, something about autumn, like the fall. They're going to try to like the fall. I, mean, I can't shake this. They're like, okay, hold on. They're going to use the month of August to dance around a bonfire because they think like, I don't know. They just they just feel like if if we do this in August, that'll be good. The bottom of my right foot is burning. They really think that if we do this, if they do this, whatever magic that they're trying to do to keep you like from moving on from them, like if they just wait or they they if they do it in August, like they'll be fine. And it's like I, I don't know why, but that's like so funny to me. Like that's desperate. Like you're not what yeah the bottom of my foot is burning oh hold on one second all right i'm back by the way 28 22. all right um so i'm gonna get one of these and then i'm gonna jump into tarot all right hold on okay i'm back sorry We have the fourth house. What makes you feel secure yeah. or support your home base or family? So I believe the fourth house is cancer. We have Pisces and cancer. So let me see. It's, um, unless it's... I think it's Taurus. No, yeah, I was right. It's Cancer. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, the fourth house, Cancer. Yeah. 
So we do have Cancer and Pisces. So we've got two water signs out here. Um, there's a lot of emotions out here. I feel like, first of all, I will say, um, for those of you that have like a stable home life, right? I'm not going to say a foundation that's more tourist, but home life. So if you have like a stable home life, um, that really bothers these people, this karmic feminine, karmic masculine. Whether or not you're a mom, or you could be a mom because of the cancer, right? That's like the mom of the zodiac. So you could be a mom or you could just have like a good home life, um, whether or not you have a family. You could just even be by yourself single and like just be, you know. I also feel like they're bothered because you don't need their friendship, right? You're not the type of person that, well, it doesn't matter that they're toxic because at least I have friends. That's not, I mean, maybe at one point you were like that, but you're not, right? It's like you don't mind being by yourself. You don't mind not going to that party. You don't mind not dabbling or being involved. And like, you don't mind. You don't care enough to. I feel like you're very secure where you are. What after once, the, since this rebirth, you've become completely different. You're not reliant on this these broken bonds anymore. So these could have been people that have like betrayed you time and time and time and time and time and time again, and you would just like forgive them, forgive them, forgive them, forgive them. And now it's kind of like for what, right? For what? And that's like now they're trying to like keep you bound to them, dancing around bonfires and shizzle. Your home base, your family, support, what makes you feel secure. Um, I think it bothers them that you're very happy and secure with your life right now. This, you're Spiritually, you're very supportive. I mean, you could be supportive with, like, your own friends and family, your soul tribe, right? But I feel like when it comes to your spirituality, you're very supportive. Because, like I said in the dream, the minute that she touched my arm, like... What, she grabs my arm trying to hold me back. Her arm broke from here to here. It just kind of like snapped in. It broke. So you're very supportive. You're very protective. And you're being watched. It's kind of like there's a stakeout for these people, you know. Like your, your spiritual team have like their coffee and donuts just watching them. You know, oh, they touched my collective. You know, let's break their arm. <laughs> Let's see what else. All right, I think I'm gonna jump into some tarot. Um, also, your spiritual team—they want to make sure that you do feel secure. Like, there's nothing for you to be worried about, right? Because you could, whatever you're doing, keep doing that. Like, keep minding your own business, keep living your life, keep being happy, keep going on that walk, whatever. You know, like, don't, this is nothing for you to deter your journey. Like, it's nothing for you to be worried about. It's nothing for you to be scared about. It's, it doesn't, I don't want to be that person, but it doesn't mean anything, to be honest with you. This doesn't look, six of swords on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's like, they want you to stay bound to them. It's like, we, all we do is betray you, but, you know, we, it's, it seems as though they are the ones that don't want to let you go. You don't care about them. Right? But they're the ones that don't want to let you go. Look, death on the bottom of the deck. They don't want things to change. They want things to stay the way it was. They don't want to... It's like they want the past to like always stay the same. They don't want it... They don't want you to move on towards calmer waters in your life. They want you to stay bound to them. They want you to be like that person before you had a rebirth, right? Which is like, you know, being in the house, which is you being stuck on the earthly like you know, toxic relationships and toxic habits. No, they don't want you to be spiritually enlightened enough for you to realize that you don't need to be around toxicity, right? They want things to just stay the same, which is a problem for your spiritual community, which is a problem for the universe. It's a problem for God because you have work to do and you can't do your work if this is, you know, in your energy. Well, honestly, like I said, this doesn't mean anything for you because this, you know, this is like a cockroach. This is a cockroach in your energy, easily squished. But the problem with cockroaches is that they keep coming back, right? But now they keep coming back. So the universe is just going to have to deal with them with a stronger hand. 
you know, it is what it is. I might have to get a different deck. Yeah, I gotta get a different deck. Hold on. Um. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is where it's at. Jesus, one, two, three, should I take that? No. I already put them back. Oh, well, if they come out, then they come out. Son, that's amazing. Look at you go, collective. Okay, look at you're supported, and you're living in happiness. You're at peace, harmonious, right? Your environment is harmonious. That's that's like with the fourth house and the sun. The, these two cards together, your environment, your home, whether or not you have a family, you can live by yourself, you could be single, whether or not you're married in a relationship you have a family, your home life is very peaceful and harmonious. A lot of joys, a lot of laughter, a lot of good times. It's just like you wake up every day and you're just like, ah, I love today, right? It's like that. One of the reasons why you're so, pre like, that's, well, that's what I was going to say. Your, your protection is very heavy, right? And one of the reasons why um, everybody's being spiritually watched is so that your home life, could stay that way, could be at, or you can have a harmonious environment. It's one of the main reasons why the universe is like getting, it's like at this point, whenever they try to enter your field or try to do something to you, the universe, your spiritual guides, your angels, your ancestors, they're just breaking arms, breaking legs, breaking feet, right? Because they don't care anymore, right? Because they're main, they're, they're, they're trying to maintain your harmonious environment in the physical. They're trying to maintain this. Because the more you are this, the easier it is for you to do your job. I love this so far. So it went from dark to having a harmonious environment. Aw, way to go collective. Go you. I love that. This is what I'm talking about. There's nothing to worry about. Like, they're, they're like roaches. Like, they're, it's nothing. Like, if, you don't even have to, like, exterminate anything. It's just like, you know, let the universe, let your angels your ancestors let god deal with them right and that's another thing too um let god handle this you don't have to do anything just focus on your harmonious environment just keep having a good heart and don't even worry about your magic because it can't copy um one of the reasons your magic is your heart right obviously their heart is wicked that's they cannot copy that they don't have a good heart they operate out of darkness right so that's why your magic cannot be copied because you, it's it's your heart Uh, I'll get a couple more and then I'll close it with uh, another oracle and then I'll call it 38 wow, already. Um, judgment. Yeah, they're being judged for whatever. Every, every time they do something, I don't know if it's just in general or if it's specifically aimed towards at you. But every time they do something, they get judged immediately and then they get punished for it. Because I remember in the dream... When she grabbed my arm trying to hold me back, her arm broke immediately. And like I could feel it. I could hear it. Like it was so like I woke up and I was just like, ugh, like that was so gross. Like, ugh. It literally sounded like and it felt like you ever, like I said, when you're cooking chicken and you gotta like break the bone to separate the meat, like that. Like it was clear as day, like the sensation. It was so weird. I woke up, I was like, ugh, like so gross. But my point, the reason why I keep talking about it is because my point is that they're being punished, like, immediately. Immediately. So if they try to enter your energy and try to bother you, the universe is like, immediately no. Immediately no. Right? Immediately no. 
Do you think they noticed? Yes, of course the universe has noticed. It's like, with, it's funny because they're doing this magic, right? And then after they do their magic, they'll be talking amongst themselves. Like, do you think the collective noticed? Right? Do you think we're going to get punished for it? Absolutely you are. Absolutely. mad because they can't offer you like poison in the form of friendship in the form of I don't know partnership or whatever partnership this is whether it's like a, a lover's friendship business they're just mad because they cannot offer you poison in the form of like illusions that illusion would be friendship right they can't lie to you they can't get you to drink the poison pretty much That's separate. That goes there. Um, let's see. Wheel of Fortune. Wow, things are going your way. You've got nothing but luck, fortune, harmonious environment, happiness. Things are going your way. I love that. I love this so much. You see, the um, there's a huge difference between these two, right? It's like... They're being watched to make sure that this is this is you. All this goodness, this happiness, this fortune, this the sun, fourth house, the wheel of fortune environment. This is all you. And it's like everybody is working overtime to make sure that your physical life is where it needs to be so that way you can do your job spiritually. All right. Hold on one second. I love it. Can you color it? Can I put it right here? <laughs> Hold on. Alright, I'm back. She wants me to color with her, but then she takes away the crayons and the, the coloring paper. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, um... Let's see. Um... I think I'm gonna do one more for here. And then I'll call it. Let's see, I've already been doing this for like 42 minutes, yeah. No! What do you mean, no? I'm almost done. <laughs> wow. The lovers. Yeah, whoever these two people are, they really want to partner up with you. Um, weird take too. Either one of them or the both of them have some sort of weird, like, feelings towards you. Like they love you and they hate you. So they hate you enough to do all this, but then it's like they love you enough to like, they don't want you to leave them. They, they're the ones that are holding on to you. They don't want you to let them go. Um, It's interesting, too, because in the brain, there literally is, like, a fine line between love and hate. So I think they're just confused on their own feelings towards you, and they're punishing you or trying to take it out on you because they don't even know where they stand. Like, they're just confused. They don't know what's what inside of them. All they know is that they're just trying to keep you bound to them. They don't want you to leave them. But they also, like, hate you. Like, it's weird. Right? They want to be around you. And you don't even care. Like, I don't know. They're, these people are toxic. It's toxic. They, they just, they want to be around you. They're being judged for, like, this toxic love. It's, like, toxic love, whether it's, like, these are exes, these are friends. I don't know. They love and they hate you. 
And they definitely, like, they want to be around you, whether it's, like, friendship or lovers or... I don't know what this is, but they, they want to be around you. They don't want to, like, not be around you. So here's the thing, too, like... Um... If they don't have your love, they would rather be, I don't know, hateful towards you, right? Even even if you don't love them, I don't know. It's like they, they would rather, like, if they could bully you, they can, right? If you don't, I don't know how to put this, but I don't know. They, they just, they love and they hate you. I'm laughing because I'm trying to word it the right way. It's like... If they can't have you romantically, then they're going to bully you and make you miserable, right? Because they can't have you the way they want you. So it's like they're trying to punish you and keep you bound to them because they can't have you the way they want to. And they're being punished for that. Because it's like the universe is like, how dare you? Like, what makes you think that you have, like, the authority to punish them, right? They, they, you have work to do. Collective, you have work to do. And it's like, because of your work, they cannot be around you. And it's like, to them, if they're not around you, then they're going to try and punish you and make your life miserable. And that's really making the universe, God, your angels, your ancestors, it's really pissing them off. Because it's like, how dare you? How dare you? I think it's really twisted. It's twisted. So we got, we've got Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Capricorn, and Libra. Capricorn, Wheel of Fortune, Libra, uh, Judgment. I literally had to look up the issue because I forgot. So yeah, Gemini, Lovers, Leo, Sun, Cancer, Fourth House, uh, Capricorn, Wheel of Fortune, Libra, Judgment. Um, also, with the lovers and judgments, um, things are being balanced out. And they, like, I don't know, like, they think that they can just talk to you however they want to talk to you. Um, also, with Capricorn and being here, your finances are looking good, right? You could also be, you know, uh, making the proper decisions, like you're finally taking a, I don't know, like, leadership in your own life like maybe before you kind of just like let anybody take the range or talk to however they want to talk to you treat you however they want to treat you but now it's like you're you've taken a, a more leadership role in your life you kind of stepped up to the plate when it comes to what's good for you right um also about boundaries you've set boundaries with these people they do not like that that they can't just reach out to you whenever they want to reach out to you talk to whoever they want to talk to you um, they can't get you to drink the poison, right? Because you're they're taking control in your life too, which is another reason why things are going so smoothly in your life because your boundaries are way too tight, which is not a bad thing, right? Compared to when it comes to these people, it's not a bad thing. It's good because the more you keep your boundaries up to toxicity, the better your life will be, and it is. It's it, it, it's physically showing how life you're good is how how good your life is. A kind of swords on the bottom of the deck reversed. That's you. There's nothing for you to be worried about. Like I said, you don't have to worry about this. There's nothing for you to worry about. You're not worried. You're not stressed out. You're not all up in your head. You're not having trouble sleeping. Here's the thing. If you're staying up all night, that's because you're choosing to do so for whatever reason. Like sometimes I stay up all night to like play games and shit. But aside from that, you're not having trouble sleeping at night, right? You put your head on the pillow and boom, you can go to sleep. All right, let me get one more of these. Actually, you know what? I need, um, uh, I need one more. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. I feel like everybody's committed to your happiness. Um, and you're committed to your happiness. You're not going to let anybody, I don't know, stray you. Keep you distracted. You definitely have angels um, on the battlefield right now. When it comes to these people, this magic, your angels are on the battlefield. Uh, 
Um, also, they want to play games with you. Which is funny because I was literally just talking about how staying up all night playing games. They also want to play games with you. Um, but, like I said, you don't have to do anything. Just focus on... Um, all their, first let me say this, focus on what you're doing, right? Just focus on that. Um, focus on your boundaries, your happiness, blah, 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 blah. Um, gifts reverse, whatever gifts that they were given by whatever deal that they made, it's being taken away. It's being revoked, right? That's what I'm hearing. It's being revoked. It's like the prop. All right. They can make whatever deals they want with whatever they want to make these deals with to get whatever gifts they want. That's not an issue, right? That's that's whatever. That's their business. The problem is that whatever gifts that they got, they're using it to bother you. That's the problem. And if they're using these things to bother you, they're not, they're going to get taken away. And there's nothing, not even the thing that they made a deal with can do anything about it, right? Because all things come from God, right? Even the gifts that they got, because even that thing was created by God, believe it or not. So yeah, there's nothing that even the person that or the thing that they got their gifts from can do anything about. So, you know, jot that down. <laughs> um, let me get one more. I think that's it. I'm gonna do one more shuffle. Oh, what was that? Waterproof reverse. Yeah. Um, waterproof reverse. They're not protected. If it was upright, then it would be, but I think that's it. Okay, so with that being said, um, I guess I'm going to close the reading. That's the reading. So if it resonates with you, gives you clarity, great. I hope it helps. If not, then, you know, it is what it is. But if you need a personal reading, you can email me. And all my um, information is in my about me section on like every video and in my channel. All right, bye.